Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and welcome to I Can Ria. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Welcome to another episode of Stash or Trash where we talk about new makeup releases in the makeup community that are either worth stashing in our collection or mentally trashing and putting aside maybe for a wishlet, maybe you know, to reconsider later or just something that just doesn't interest us. I know I haven't done this video in ages. Trust me, I've been dying to do one of these because your girl loves to give a little opinion or two. So if you want to hear my makeup opinions on new makeup releases, then just keep watching and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. So I'm just going to scooch a little bit to the side so you guys can see the actual makeup products that are being released. I did a tutorial on this look so if you want to know how I achieved it then the link will be in the description bar below. As per usual, just letting you guys know, I sourced all my makeup news and images and everything like that from Trend Roots Paid. I find it the most reliable in terms of information about the cost, the makeup product, the item, the time that it's being released and I suggest you follow Trend Roots too if you're interested in new makeup releases. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Halo Top and Colourpop collaboration. Now I'm conflicted because I freaking love Halo Top. Halo Top ice cream is the bomb.com. I don't think anything can beat Funfetti or was it, I think it was birthday cake was a flavor and literally tastes like Funfetti frosting. Also sea salt caramel. I live, I die for it. So I was so excited to see this because I'm just like Colourpop Cosmetics, my favorite makeup company or I might say one of my favorite makeup companies and Halo Top ice creamery collaborating like hello I need this in my life even if it's for like collector's edition or just to like keep one I really like if I, you guys can see here I really love the mint green shade not the one above but the one below like the more deeper mint green shade but then when it's swatched it tells a totally different story it hardly shows up as green it's more like a green undertone or maybe like green glitter so that's the only reason I'm kind of like not wanting to get anything from this collection because I'm like the one thing I wanted to buy did not swatch as how I would want. I know people out there that just want like that hint of colour whereas I want full impact if I'm buying like a, a super shock shadow. So yeah, a bit disappointing for me personally because I feel like I have all the other shades and oh, Honestly, your girl has a huge ass color pop order coming through, so we'll just wait for that. Next up, we have the Ocean Theme Little Six Pan Palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. I freaking love the concept of small palettes. I've never been a fan of big palettes. I find it so overwhelming to the point where like I just won't go near it and won't go near color. But the fact that, especially the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Palette. I just reach for that literally over my basic palettes even because I just love the layout of it. I just find it easier to hop right into like a 9 pan or a 6 pan palette. But I'm digressing from the point. This palette looks beautiful. However, I do feel like they could have added a lighter, maybe glittery top coat. I know that most people don't like that but I love that like the fact that you can just kind of change the texture or the outlook of a colour on the eye with the, just like one shadow. So maybe like a glitter top coat or like a duochrome. I wish they added that in. I think this is beautiful. It has the dimension. It looks stunning. I love the bluish purpley shade. And I think the packaging is very fitting. I feel like they didn't do the thing where the palette tricks us with all this like colourful shadows on the outside and then go basic on the inside. This really does match the packaging and I think it's very beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm not much of a purple eyeshadow wearer. I'm more of a pink and red and green kind of gal. But definitely if you're into purple eyeshadows I and are intimidated by huge palettes, this is definitely for you. Next up, Ofra Cosmetics is coming out with the Summertime Island Time Collection. I am so keen 
The packaging looks so beautiful. So they're coming out with an Island Time palette with liquid to bake blushes, a highlight palette in like many of the old formula. <sighs> see, that's the thing. They just repackage their old formulas and I would really love to see something like brand new, like the Cosmo Blush Compact, like the beautiful freaking hot pink blush shade is just calling to me. So out of everything in this collection, the hot pink blush, like I need that. I also wanted to talk about the new serum blush from M Cosmetics and I think they're coming out in four shades. Rose Milk, Sunset Sky, Soft Amethyst and Pink Nectar. It looks so beautiful. It looks like it's going to be dewy, very fresh and clean on the skin. I feel like they've come out with a perfect set of shades that are very universal. Especially that really deep dark mauve colour. I feel like most brands don't do that in terms of releasing liquid blushes. They always either go for a red or a peachy pink but they don't ever expand from that. And I feel like you know, adding that mauve really makes it a bit more universal and accessible. So I am definitely keen to see reviews on it. And if I see good reviews, I think I might buy this because this is... I love something quite lightweight and buildable and this looks like it's just going to do just that. It does retail for $25 so it is like the perfect kind of range that I'm looking to buy in. And I really also want to try their lip clouds so I might get that along with a lip cloud shade just to like test the brand because I've been watching Michelle Phan since I was like 12 years old so you best believe that I'm going to support this makeup mom that I've been watching for ages. I forgot to mention, if I were to get a blush, I would definitely get maybe a rose milk, like a blushy pink. I think I like that. That sounds more appealing to me. I definitely have to see swatches. Again, a few reviews, but this is the most intriguing thing I've seen so far. Also, Tarte Cosmetics. I am so happy for Whitney Simmons because I could kind of see this coming. She really has been talking about and using quite a lot of Tarte Cosmetics and always talks about them in her Get Ready With Me's. I feel like this is so perfect because if you know Whitney or watch her channel, you know that she is not a beauty guru, she is a fitness guru. And I feel like it is a very smart choice as a brand because it introduces something very simple to a whole new audience in like the fitness sector. And I feel like Whitney is a perfect choice because she does, it's not like she has recently been doing makeup, she has been doing makeup for a while. She's obviously just like the everyday gal, she's no like makeup artist. But I, pick, I think this part really suits Whitney Simmons. I feel like if any other like beauty guru would be coming out with this palette, I would be so disappointed and kind of question whether they had any say in the creative process at all. But the fact that it's Whitney Simmons, it is kind of goes with that everyday natural vibe, like post gym, just throw in an eyeshadow, mascara, and lip. And it does come with a free lipstick and mascara. So I think it's perfect. It is a really beautiful kind of what I could see a very sheer kind of creamy nude lipstick. It's it's an amazing palette. The fact that it's neutral is the only reason I'm not gonna buy it, but I am super happy for Whitney Simmons and I'm actually not that disappointed with this collaboration. In terms of Tarte doing it, I feel like it matches the brand perfectly because hello, they're like a neutral central. They haven't been neutral that much recently, but still neutral. So I feel like this, this is a perfect collab and I love to see this. We also have a brand new release from Soul Cosmetics which is another sister brand to Colourpop Cosmetics because Colourpop Cosmetics originally has 4 Beauty and now they have Soul, which is like their body line. This looks absolutely stunning. Again, I am not into body oils because I don't like the feeling of any thing on my body. Like, I don't mind moisturizer, but again, it has to dry. I, I can't deal with any greasiness on my body. So I'm not into that. Plus... <laughs> It's still winter here in Australia, so I don't think that's suitable. But the fact that they are coming out with something that is affordable, like $15, like all the others are so high-end, so expensive. 
I think this is beautiful. They really are making this kind of trend of glow and glow oils and body oils accessible to people who can't afford the things that are quite overpriced um, for a reason because, you know, indie brands and stuff like that. But still, like, they are making it more accessible to the public and... Yeah, I think that this is a very beautiful release. I, I'm so curious on the reviews. I still would like to see a review on this, but I'm just not going to pick it up. Everyone's been talking about House Beauty by Lady Gaga. What's happening to my camera? I don't know. Sorry about that. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. It doesn't interest me. It, in, a fa in a way, House Laboratories, it's like in... Like, only going to be sold through, sold through Amazon. She might as well just have done houselabs.com or something like that to make it more accessible. Because that really kind of narrows it down to only, like, US-based audiences, I feel. The fact that so many celebrities are coming out with makeup brands is just... I like to see people in the makeup community releasing stuff. But celebrities, girl, you have so much else going on for you. Like, just leave the makeup world to its own, like... Because I just, I don't know, if I, I find all these celebrities doing that quite like a money-grabbing move. I don't know, just my opinion. I just, I wasn't excited at all to see this. I, in fact, was like, are you serious? Really? Like, who asked for this? I feel like I hardly talked about eyeshadow palettes in this video. Is it just me? Because, like, I don't know, I feel like blushes and lip products are so much more, like, in demand and, like, base products. Remember that one time, I think it was the last video, the video before that, where like complexion products were so in and now it's just like, oh my god, like blushes, we need more blushes, we need glowing, we need serums, we need everything. I feel like that's more in demand now. So we'll see where this goes. I am going to finally talk about, uh, last but not least, the Kim Kardashian Beauty So Fire collection. Let me say, the collection itself looks fire and I feel like Kim Kardashian she's killing it in terms of having to compete with Kylie Cosmetics but still creating that kind of divide and like not divide but still separating herself from Kylie if that makes sense like I'm not excited about the palette I feel like it's a pretty palette like, it's a beautiful warm tone palette, but I feel like if you have the soft glam, I don't think that you need it. But let me tell you, she looks freaking fire in this palette. And honestly, the orange... Okay. Actually, just cancel everything that I said. This palette looks amazing. <laughs> when I first saw it, like, from afar, it looked like the soft glam. But up close, I'm looking at the eyeshadow. And it's that like orange eyeshadow that I've always wanted. Like I have one similar from Colourpop, let me show you. It's called Let Me Pass, it's from like their back to school collection. It looks like that, right? It looks similar to what like the photo is right here. But it just, it doesn't, maybe I don't need it. Yeah, maybe I don't need it. Okay, I don't need it. This can, this will do. Yeah. I feel like that looks a little bit more orangey, but I definitely, I definitely would either have to see a makeup tutorial featuring it or like a review before purchasing from Kim Kardashian. Because, not only because of that, I feel like if I was living in the US, it's going to be quite dangerous for my bank account. Because I feel like I would have more access and feel less of a pinch when buying products from the Kardashians. Because I feel like the shipping is the only thing that hinders me from buying from KKW and Kylie Cosmetics. It didn't stop me from buying her lip kits though. Ayy. So I feel like, yeah, the entire collection is beautiful. I get out of the entire collection. I love the palette. I thought I hated it. I think it's quite beautiful. It's definitely like, like I do have a couple of eyeshadow palettes on my wish list, but I really do want to narrow this down. And I do know I have Quite a few warm tone palettes. I do have the red and pink palette coming in from Colourpop Cosmetics, but the brown, like, see that sparkly brown, like over here. Let me just 
like this color right here this looks like amazing like life like so creamy and pigmented like I want this I wish she came out with like a mini of like like this to the palette I would have so, so bought that honestly if she made it like a six pound palette shipping wouldn't have stopped me then I think what sold me was actually Kim Kardashian wearing that orange eyeshadow I don't think I would have taken a double take if it wasn't for Kim Kardashian. So let me know. I think there is... I really do want to do this talk about celebrities releasing makeup and what I think about it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Would you like me to do any like get ready with me so about like makeup topics and stuff? I would love to do that. But yeah, I think that is it for this week's kind of stash or trash. I don't think I've actually physically mentioned whether I'm going to be stashing or trashing products. But I think you guys got the idea. I'm definitely going to keep in mind to add the, those terms in the next videos to come. I felt like I didn't have a lot to talk about this week. Maybe it was just me. Maybe I've just... I'd, I've seen already like so many videos come out with other people like Samantha March and stuff talking about the other products. And I feel like I'm just a bit late to the game. So I just want to talk about the latest ones. I definitely am going to be uploading way more often. I keep on saying that every time I come on here, but I've just been... You girls have been working seven days a week, okay? Like eight to six. So please, please have patience. Please understand. Thank you guys for staying through to the very end. I love you guys with all my heart. And I'll catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next video. Bye!